Hi everyone, my name is Mahmood Sheikh and from past few videos I have been working on developing a Dance Academy website using PHP, MySQL, jQuery and Bootstrap framework. In my last video I completed the functionality of displaying the dance categories and also displaying the popular or trending dance forms on the home page. So this is my completely developed website. Uh, so exactly the same website I am going to develop in this complete tutorial series and in this video I will going to discuss about displaying the coaches and instructors details in the form of a carousel. Let me just close this. So here this is my currently working website as I have told you that I have done displaying dance categories and popular or trending dance forms in my last video. Uh, so before coming to our today's topic I just want to tell you guys that if you guys like this video click on like button share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe to our channel and if you guys have any queries then let me know in the comment section. So now let us move ahead uh, to develop the feature of displaying the instructors details below this section ok so here you can see I have open index PHP file now I am going to create a wrapper ok so here I have created a wrapper immediately below I have completed the container ok so this is the container where I have displayed the popular or trending dance forms once that container gets closed here I have started the wrapper and inside the wrapper I have created a class row and an h2 tag to display the header like coaches and instructors to just save it and refresh the page then you will notice coaches and instructor heading started displaying next I have created one more due with a class of row and a class as logo slider this logo slider class belongs to slick minjs and slick css file i will put the link of this js and css files in the description so that you can use these links in your projects okay so now let me just come back here index file now next i have created uh, a PHP tag and I have included the database configuration file and I have written an SQL query to select the details of instructors from the TBL instructors table then I have executed this SQL query and here I am checking if I find certain records in the instructors table then I will iterate over those records and I have created another due with a class of four column due and uh, another due with a class of category box and here I have displayed the image of an instructor and then further I have created another due with a class of category name uh, to display the instructor name and to display the experience so these are the details which I want to display in each and every card of instructors okay now let me just save it and let's refresh and now when I scroll further down you can see uh, the details of instructors started displaying okay the image their name and their experience you can clearly see in each and every card okay so I can move these cards either to right or to left okay uh, so to display these instructors first you need to add all the instructors into this portal okay so i have added uh, various uh, instructors and then i have made these instructors to upload their profiles once these each and every instructors have uploaded that profile their uh, details started displaying here on the home page okay uh, so now you can see there is a table users in that table I have stored the details of each and every user and there is a table called instructors in which I have stored the details of instructors and these details get stored inside the instructors tables once the, the instructor updated their profile okay uh, so this is everything about displaying coaches and instructors details on the home page so in our next video we will discuss about uh, uh, adding the feedback by the student okay so once we done uh, 
adding the feedback feature then we will come back on the home page to complete the remaining features like testimonials okay uh, so all these things we will be going to cover in our next videos okay so i hope you guys like this video so i hope you guys have understood each and every line of this php and html code so this is the end of this video if you guys like this video click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching